Hey everyone, QuantumScape gave investors a quarterly update and I'm going to use that to update my recommendation of QuantumScape stock. Coming into this quarterly earnings report, I had QuantumScape stock rated as a hold and so you're going to want to tune in to see if I'm changing that recommendation, upgrading, downgrading or keeping it the same. So without further ado, let's take a look at the latest developments from QuantumScape. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so some, some big items came out of QuantumScape and let's take them uh, one at a time here. Starting with the company uh, highlighting that 2023 Mark the beginning of a transformational period for QuantumScape with the shipment of its first AO prototype in late 2022 and continuing in 2023 with the development and demonstration of key improvements needed to go from prototype to product. Of course, the big news was they got confirmation of the effectiveness of their innovative battery technology. They've made excellent progress. They're on the cusp of turning this innovative technology from research, from product development to a commercially viable product. They're almost there. They could see the finish line, but not quite there yet. So their goal is to begin low volume production of the QSE5 prototype in 2024. And they're gonna ship those out to potential customers so that they can test it out, so that they can give QuantumScape feedback. And then they're targeting higher volume production in 2025. So in 2025 is when QuantumScape is expecting to start generating some millions in revenue, some millions, right? They're not quite large scale revenue expected just yet in 2025, but they're starting to see that point where they're gonna become a commercially viable business, start selling product, generating revenue. So one of the customers that received their AO prototype sales was their longstanding partner, the Volkswagen Group, whose battery manufacturing arm PowerCo confirmed that the best performing cell achieved over 1000 battery cycles with over 95% capacity retention. And that was great news. If you remember, I did a video on that development on that news, QuantumScape stock price, I believe jumped like 40% when that was announced, that was a big, big deal for QuantumScape, getting confirmation from an outside partner that its technology is working, is effective, is powerful, is innovative. And so that was huge at the time it came out. You may, if you've been following QuantumScape, you probably saw that video where I discussed that latest development. So that is pretty much in line with what QuantumScape has been doing these last few years in that they've been they've been hitting these key milestones and making progress which is critical for a company in this stage you've got to hit those milestones you got to provide evidence that you're making progress otherwise when you're a pre-revenue company like this when you're generating zero revenue you've got to give investors reason to stick along to give you that next level capital that you need to conduct your research and development to develop this product all the way until the point where you can start selling and generating cash because right now they're just going through hundreds of millions of dollars so you've got to prove that hundreds of millions of dollars is leading to something and QuantumScape is doing that to its credit they have made good progress they have shown evidence of development so with respect to the heat processing step they've got this new processing technology Raptor which they call it which is approximately eight times faster than their current generation product process I should say and this is cutting the amount of energy needed per separator and increasing throughput taking upstream and downstream process into account they expect this to provide up to three times as much production capacity as their current generation process so this next generation process is what's going to allow them to increase production of this prototype and get it out to partners in 2024. Raptor has already been deployed according to QuantumScape. And so you can see this nice diagram here where they're at. This is the current generation process here. This is their scale up target. You could see Raptor providing some improvement from the current generation, right? They said three times as much throughput, but the next next generation which they're calling cobra which they're targeting at sometime in 2025 
that's going to provide exponential improvement. This is where their product's going to be commercially viable. So this is what they're aiming to achieve, and their target is 2025. Given the progress they've made and given the amount of capital they have, remember they have over $1 billion in cash. It's enough money to get them there. Management says they have enough money to get them through the end of 2026. So they have the money to get this process in place if they can get all the parts in order, if they can get everything in order. Money is not the problem for QuantumScape right now. Right now they have the money to get themselves to these next stages. Still, bringing a disruptive improvement online presents a technical challenge, not money, technical skill. The significant work remains to develop a mature Cobra production process, and we have prioritized bringing it online as quickly as possible. So they're trying their best, but they're highlighting and they're saying it's difficult. It's not going to be easy. This isn't something that we can just throw money at it and get it fixed. This is a technical problem that we need to solve. It's challenging. So the outlook for QuantumScape for 2024, they noted that for 2023, Capital expenditures totaled 13.8 million for the most recent quarter, and then 84.5 million for the whole year. Okay, now for 2024, they're expecting a step up. They're saying capex is going to be between 70 million and 120 million, so about 50% above the 84.5 million they spent for 2023. And I was pleased with this number. I was expecting a much larger number, given that they're going from the current generation process to the Raptor technology, implementing that, getting that up and ready and producing that uh, prototype at higher volumes. And then even in 2024, some of the money, some of the capital expenditure is going to be to assemble the processes for the Cobra, which is going to prepare for higher volume QS5 production in 2025. QS5 is what they're calling their commercially viable battery product. That's the one they're going to try and get out and make sales with in 2025. So I was pleased to see that this number was reasonable and that they have well in excess of the capital needed for this, right? They've got, I mentioned they have over a billion dollars. So if they're going to spend 120 million on CapEx, even at the higher end, it's reasonable and it's within their power to do so. They don't need to go out and raise more capital. Although management said, you know, opportunistically, we'll go out and raise more capital if we find a good opportunity to raise capital at a lower cost. But we're not in a desperate situation to do so, which I think is good news for QuantumScape stock investors. They don't, they're not in a desperate need to go out and raise money. They've got enough to last until the end of 2026, which hopefully by that point, they're further along in their process. They've got a commercially viable product. They've demonstrated more capabilities and therefore it'll be easier to raise capital at that point. Uh, in other words, lower cost. When I say easier, I mean lower cost, right? You can almost always raise capital as a business, but it's at what price can you raise capital? So when I say easier, I mean it can raise capital at a lower price. So a lot of things to like here from QuantumScape and its latest quarter. However, there wasn't enough for me to upgrade the stock from a hold to a buy. So I'm still keeping QuantumScape stock as a hold while also admitting that they made good progress in the most recent quarter. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.